This is Terror House Radio with Matt Forney and Brighton Proctor. Yeah, welcome to a Terror House Radio episode number 80. I'm Matt Forney, your charming and loquacious host and the founder and editor-in-chief of Terror House Press. I am also the 2021 McRib Dubs Fantasy Champion. That is true. Congratulations. Congratulations, oh. champ. God damn, hell of a season, too. I was going to make you introduce me, but I realized that wouldn't work, and I didn't want to rub it in too much. Well, you, you should, you should. I mean, dude, although, like, ask Glon, ask Slams, ask anybody there. I had the unluckiest fucking string of incident, literally, in no fucking point during football history, I don't think, has anybody just gone, fuck it, fuck this job, and left. He just quit football. Oh, he yeah, just the one quit guy. football. Antonio Brown, he just quit football. He's one of my wide receivers. I put him in on my fight. He decides, I'm done playing football. What the fuck, man? Well, it's Michael Sam did the same thing, but that was after both the NFL and the CFL rejected him. Yeah. So, fuck not that. quite I'm the blaming, same thing. I'm blaming the CIA for this shit. They don't want me to be happy. They're trying to kill me. They said he can't even have a fantasy, a, a decent fantasy season. Meanwhile, Ridiculous. I'm. By the way, this is. Uh, I'm joined by my co-host and occasional producer, Brian Proctor, the uh, the fourth place winner in the McRib yeah. Dubs fantasy league. Yeah. Uh, and I got lucky. I got. Re- I got super lucky. I was trailing Glon into the championship game, um, and then, like in the last two minutes, uh, Najee Harris of the Steelers does a t- touchdown run, and I win by half a point. It's pretty incredible. I mean, that's he didn't you know, even have to. The Steelers were leading like ten. The the Browns by like ten points. All he had to do was run out the clock. But he decides like I'm going to get a touchdown, which mm-hmm. was really helpful for me because it was the, literally the difference that the one thing that allowed me to win. That's I mean, it's one for the history books. I mean, next season should be great. I'm I'm gonna I've learned that you know I should have played the white guy. What's his name? Uh, 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 Hinfro or whatever. Rin, Rin, Rinfro, whatever that. I should have played that nice looking white fella instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. And I'm looking forward to thrashing you again in fantasy baseball. Well, if we play fantasy baseball, I mean, I would hope so. I hope that, I hope that Glenn gets it together and we can do that. But, uh, no, I don't think you can beat me in baseball. Oh, trust me, I can. You're gonna get confused because all the all the players' names are named like your neighbors. <laughs> yeah, Hunter like, Renfro. It's like it's like five hit pitchers and five hitters. That's not that difficult. Well, they all got the same name, Matt. And then there's like a couple black guys, and then you know, a bunch of white dudes. Trust me, you're not good at math, so I can beat you with baseball. Oh, I don't have to be good at math. The computer does it for me. Like everybody's a cyborg now, don't you know? We're going to the metaverse, stick face. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. Dude, if you're not down with transhumanism, we're going to leave you in the dust. Me, I'm getting tires for legs. Yeah, you're going to you're going to I'm trying to I'm trying to reach for comparison, but that's going to be pretty funny. You with tires. I mean, they they better get to Trump drive everywhere. Well, they better be big tires cuz you're already pretty short, so. Yeah, dude, I'm you got like a monster, monster truck tires. tires. Yeah. And like, like that guy from Twisted Metal, you know, he was just like a guy stuck in monster truck tires. Yeah, like that. That's what I'll do. If I get to do the transhumanist thing and I get to choose, I'm going tall. I'm going tall with wheels. I'll, nice. just, I'll be a wheel in the metaverse. And then I'll show up to your dumb apartment in the metaverse and I'll be like, and I'll plow through it and I'll destroy all your NFTs and shit. Well, you'll immediately be faced with a... Uh double barrel buckshot doesn't matter doesn't matter these are steel tires is your face ricochet be, just back is, at you is your face gonna be steel yeah steel face they'll call me that yeah you'll look like destro and gi joe yeah i'll be steel face <laughs> and then i'll just go around and i'll be i wonder like in the metaverse if you could be a criminal could you i mean could you be a metaverse criminal well you could be a criminal in second life, right? Isn't yeah, meta- the, isn't the metaverse just second life with worse graphics? I think. Uh, but it's VR. But I'm not really sure. Cause I get I, I I everybody is telling me that this is the future and everything's gonna be great, or this is the future and it's all gonna be fucking awful. But you know the only thing that I've found? It looks gay. 
It just looks gay and like something I don't want to do. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty accurate. Uh, speaking of which, well, first off, if you have uh, questions or concerns for myself and Bryden, streamlabs.com slash terrorhouse magazine, and we'll read them later on the show. We already have a couple. Uh, or, the- or or song requests. I mean, granted, we're not going to play songs on the show, but if you want to request them, you can. Bryden will do karaoke. I might. <laughs> I might. But yes, the title of the show alludes to something that happened uh, in the past on this date, a very controversial event, uh, an event that uh, continues to divide our nation. I am, of course, talking about when New Mexico was admitted to the Union on January 6th, 1912. Yeah, yeah, and I'm so, I don't I don't like it. Yeah, New Mexico, like yep. it's it's like old Mexico, but more expensive. Yeah, and there's like it's every it's got all these hippies. All right. Yeah, no, it's 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 not getting a lot the of weapons shocks. were created there. You know, it's mm-hmm. not it's not it's not great. Yeah, every they like quartz and and like shiny stones and and all that, and there's like tons of touristy shops. I don't like New Mexico. I wouldn't I wouldn't. The Colorado can also kind of go as well yeah i'll keep nevada because i'm a dj that whole that whole part of the of the country like could just screw off it's a dumb desert ah uh, ooh, the skies are cold well Ooh, we have hot hot air balloons yeah fuck that fuck that i, I I'm not- ooh, we have pueblos yeah i mean dude pueblo okay stick some pueblo in my burrito please but like that sounded too sexual actually um don't make foods that are fucking tex mex though i do have to say it's pretty incredible and i do believe taco bell started in that area though because well, john bell went down to tijuana well, Tex-Mex is in the name it's not new mex mex it's tex mex so yeah but texas kind of gets a pass here yeah but it's in that whole area i don't know i don't know i like tex mex tex mex is way better than mexican food dude have you ever actually had mexican food yeah of course I mean, not in Mexico, but yeah, like authentic Mexican food. Yeah. And it's fine. It's just its own thing. But like Tex-Mex is way cooler. It's made for guys like me. That's what I want. Fat Things alcohol. that are made for it's made guys. For fat- like- yes. <laughs> kind of like, yes. It rules. No, no, no. But yeah, it's, um, but yeah, uh, New Mexico, 110th anniversary. Mm. I think I think Arizona was also admitted to the union in the same year. So, Ugh, God, Mexico, New Mexico, Arizona, mm. Arizona, more like uh, Arizona uh, uh, iced tea. Trayvon. Like, oh, there we go. All right, right. Arizona, more like Arizona. Your mom's pussy. Yeah, yeah, get them. Hold on, get them. Arizona, but uh, fucking Arizona, rather be anywhere else besides Arizona. Fuck you, Arizona. <laughs> you hear the rap music outside? Good lord. What? I can't hear a thing. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very loud. But well, your neighbor, na- your neighbors, your neighbors are well. They party? try. They try. No, I wish that would make more sense. They just drive their cars out of the out of the complex, and they're like. Everyone needs to know that I'm leaving right now and that I listen to awful music. Some of the shit doesn't even sound good. Some of it, it's fine. It's normal rap music. But a lot of this, I swear they just make it themselves. Oh, Bryden, you're a rap snob now? Well, I'm a music guy, I guess. I'm not even a music guy. I just I, you don't, you know, if you're going to be loud, play, you know, Tiesto or something. Like, play some fucking things that I like. Like if if everybody that was driving out of my apartment complex was playing, it was like wow, I'd be like, oh, that rules. They like Rusco as well. They, like that, you you think it rules for like ten minutes, and then you no would get every no every time. The whole night that EDC was going on, like several miles away. <laughs> whenever I heard it, I was like, yeah, okay, this is rules. No, if it was just a cool fucking, you know, they just played dubstep all the time, I wouldn't mind. Because I like that. Well, you you wouldn't want a, like a moment of quiet. Ah, oh, I get moments of quiet. From Every the bathroom, crying. No, I'm taking a shit. 
you while know. crying. Well, sometimes it's like, it, sometimes you're like, fuck, did I eat barbed wire? Like, it's hard, dude. Sometimes you get some hard poops. You've never had a hard poop. You've never had a hard poop that you needed to strip naked for and you're sweating through and you're like, what did I do? Why yeah, okay, ever, dude. Why would you ever need to strip naked? Because you're sweating. It's too much. And sometimes those hard poops, you got to like get down to business. You got to just like be with nature as much as you can because if there's anything restricting you, this hell won't be over. It's the same reason people that get like way too high on psychedelics or have like panic attacks or whatever have to strip naked and run down the street. It's the same thing. If you're telling me you haven't stripped entirely naked to take an extremely massive shit, you're a fucking liar because people do that. I've done that plenty of times. Not every time. I have never done that. Wow, well, you've never, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You know also, it sounds about. like you need a stool softener. Well, sometimes, yeah. But there's a, there's a balance. I mean, here's the deal. Because, like, it, they go from, like, th there's a, a measurement. For, it's a one through seven, I think. I could send you the, the, the graph. There's one. It's a chart, maybe, there's I guess. There's a graph for this? Well, it's, it's like a graphic. I, I don't know. It's got, like, you know, like, number seven is it's, like, rock hard, hard to pass. And then, like, number one is, like, just liquid. And both are, like at the ends the extremes you know like politics they're like that's not good but in the middle it's like sausage shaped and soft this is the thing and it's got a name too this has got i'm gonna look it up sure sure okay you do that stool chart. you do that stool chart. it's the it's called the bristol the bristol stool chart wait this is like scientific yes dude I it's thought this was like something up. that you made up while you no. were drunk and sad. No, it's legitimate. Hold on. Here, put it on the screen. It's legitimate. It's a thing. I'm not like putting science. poop on the screen. But it's not real poop. It's pictures. I'm not putting. And I got poop it wrong. I got it wrong. Put the poop pictures on the screen, Matt. No. Put it on the screen, Matt, so that everybody knows what I'm talking about. The Bristol I, School. Put it on. I refuse. Like number one. It could yeah, that's it. Part-time producer, put it on. Put it on. It's not graphic. Put it on. This otherwise they're just gonna go look it up themselves. What if they're driving while they're listening to this after this is done? Won't you feel like a fucking prick? Put it on the screen. <laughs> we're we're not putting this on the screen. Put it on the screen. I'm gonna put it on the fucking screen. Wait, you put it on the screen then. I'm you gonna put it, it on the fucking screen then, you fucking dick. All right. Uh Sure. Okay, got that one. Let's go with this one. Bam. The Bristol. So I got it backwards. All right. So one, separate, hard lumps like nuts, hard to pass. Two, sausage shaped but lumpy. Three, like a sausage but with cracks on its surface. Four, that's four and, four and five are the ones that you want, I think. Like a sausage or snake. <laughs> Smooth and soft. Five soft blobs with clear cut edges. Passed easily. Now, six, you're getting into fucking bad territory. All right. Fluffy pieces with ragged edges and mushy stool. And then finally, watery, no solid pieces, ex entirely liquid. That's the diarrhea, Matt. That's diarrhea. You don't want the diarrhea. Thank you. We all feel very enlightened. I'm telling you, that's science. That's science. And of course, we do trust the science here at Terra. You should Australia. trust the science. I've had all of those poops, sometimes in a single day. Sometimes in one movement. I've gone through three. Like, single like a, day, single movement. Is there some, What is wrong with your digestive system? Oh, I have IBS. <laughs> You're supposed to only maybe go twice a day, I think it is. Oh, no. I, I'm at least... Three times a day, three maybe four probably. On some days, as many as five or more. Yeah, I think if you're up to five, that's an indicator that there's something wrong. Yeah, I know there's something wrong. I fucking IBS, Matt. What are you a doctor? Are you gonna prescribe me something to fix it with me, or are you just gonna sit here a bitch? <laughs> you have IBS and you haven't done anything about it. What am I supposed to do, Matt? <laughs> <coughs> 
I uh, looked up the things and they were like, here's how you here's how you do it. Stop doing everything you like. <laughs> hey, stop eating all these foods. And I'm like, ah, well, I don't I'm I'm drinking less beer, you know? But they're like also no carbonated drinks. So club soda's out the fucking window. The whole thing is is a mess. And I'll just deal with the bad shits, dude. I don't care. What if someone told you to stop being a fat, gay, bald retard? Huh? You'd be like, there goes all the shit that I like. <laughs> also, I'm a vegetarian, so I do poop a lot more anyway. So I don't know what the things are. How meat clogs your work? shit up. Huh. Oh, just meat takes longer to get through your colon. So, like, if you eat more meat, it gets longer to get through your colon. Uh, if you're vegetarian, you should. That makes it. sense. Yeah. Um. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> no, I feel fine. I go maybe twice a day. And uh, my aside, aside from the three week bout of food poisoning I had, I was I'm, I've been good for as long as I can remember. And you're regular. This is that yeah we're about at the age that this is what a doctor is going to ask you. So are you uh, regular in your movements? Yeah. Yeah. They start uh, they start asking you that, and then they get so curious about your movements that they want to stick a finger up there just to check. I don't think it's for your movements. I think it's something to do with the prostate, which I think is a myth, much like the female clitoris. And yeah, they start sticking their finger up your ass, probably because they want your poop. Yeah, the prostate—the prostate isn't real, everyone. Um, have you ever seen a prostate? I haven't. I haven't either, but I'll bet some people have. Some people have. Some people have also seen UFOs. Yeah, but UFOs are real. What the government? <laughs> I don't believe UFOs are real anymore because the government said they were. <laughs> well, if you want to get technical, a UFO doesn't necessarily mean it's an alien. A UFO, UFO stands for unidentified flying object. So it's basically anything in the sky that nobody recognizes. Nah, but, it, stands, it stands for you faggot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 18 minutes. 18 minutes we've done here, Matt. <laughs> Someone could fling a piece of shit across the sky, and that could qualify as a UFO. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I know the Bristol tools, tools chart. I'd be able to identify it. I'd go, that's a number three. <laughs> look at it go. <laughs> there you go. Look at it go. Look at it go. And it just splatted on someone's car. Yeah. People don't shit on people's cars enough. I know it happens in a lot. But, like, I don't know. If it's a good prank, right on the windshield. Because it's not like you can, like, you got to, you know, you got to take a hose to it. And then, like, a lot of people, they do, like, urban environments in which they live. So, like, they don't have hoses around. So they got to take it to a car wash or, like, to somewhere, which means you have to drive with a fucking turd. It's a good prank. The turd on the windshield is a great fucking pl prank, dude. That just seems like it'd be like a like rather elaborate because you got to climb up onto the uh, you know the hood and yeah. But I mean, young guys do that, and you can you could be loose and you have to be kind of comfortable enough to actually do it, like in public in yeah in a position like that. It's got to be awkward. Yeah, I would imagine that would be. I'd have performance anxiety trying to do that. Yeah, like it would crawl back up into me. There's no way I could just like lay a loaf on a fucking, you know, you'd have to really try. You give yourself fucking hemorrhoids trying to do that shit, too. Like, I mean, you're going to blow one out. <laughs> hey. Like, what's funny is like I made my name shit and this was not at all planned. I did no. not. No, I swear to God, it wasn't. Uh, we just were going to start too late. I was like, I can't think of anything clever. And then uh, I think it was a subconscious thing. I'm, you know, I see me in the thing. It says shit. Bam. Here we go. Improv. Improv, Matt. Second city. It's like, it's like, it's like what to say when you talk to yourself. Basically, you see the word shit and now, and now you are becoming shit. I should. Well, I mean, I, well, it did one time say Matt Forney and I did become Matt Forney. 
See, there you go. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna write millionaire black. I'm gonna write millionaire black guy in there next time. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to, you have to, you have to make it simpler. Just say NBA player. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if they're gonna play anymore. <laughs> yeah, like half their half their fucking roster's gone due to COVID. Uh, good, good. I don't know. Is how's golf been faring? It seems like you should be at least be able to play golf, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a sport that has a quote unquote social distancing already built in, right? So you would think that like it shouldn't hurt the PGA. And what about tennis? They should be able to do tennis, although you can't. Because, you know, what's it? Uh, that's actually a thing. Oh, <laughs> Terror House Radio. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, uh, that, uh, Djokovic or whatever guy, uh, went all the way to Australia and they were like, no, we can't let you play. And he's locked in his hotel room right now because he won't get the fucking shot. But I'm, it's surprised, like, I'm surprised they even let him in in the first place. Well, I think it was a trick to get him there, honestly. If oh. I had to guess. Have you looked at this at all? I, I vaguely know about it. Yeah, he's, they were like, fine, whatever. And then they took his fucking work visa. And they were like, stay in the hotel room. And he has apparently armed guards or whatever outside of his fucking thing. That's like bizarre to me because like all these, usually when it comes to like these immigration restrictions, if you're flying in, like the airline checks in before you even get on the flight. Like say if, like Brian, if you wanted to go to, I don't know, France or Germany or one of these oh, countries that requires tasty. vaccination, vaccination. Uh, before you even board the airplane, the clerk would be like, do you have your vaccination papers? And if you don't have them, you don't get on the flight. So, like, in this case, this Djokovic guy, they let him get on the flight, but then the Australian immigration was like, nah, you're going into quarantine because you don't have the vaccine. That's why That's why I think it was they tricked him. And because like, because the, re- the reason it works like this is because, like, if you if an, air, if an airline allows someone to board who can't enter – and they get turned away in immigration. Airline is on the airline is on the hook for flying the back, so they don't want to pay that expense. So they make sure you're allowed to enter before you can even get on the plane. That's why this is weird, which is you know, which gives credence to your your theory there. Yeah, I think that it's. I think that the guy was uh, embarrassed that people were because they really wanted him to play. Apparently, he's very good at tennis, uh, which you know, good for him. I don't know. It's a. I like Mario tennis and Wii tennis. I, like who cares? But uh, I do think that they wanted him to go there so that they could uh, try to force him to do this. Australia is insane. Those people are insane. Like, I we think Democrats are bad. Holy fuck. Australia is nuts. And every time I hear something about these, these countries doing this shit, I'm like, oh, fuck. Thank fuck for the Constitution for what little that matters these days. Like, I, good grief, dude. Yeah, like the news yesterday is that Italy is going to make everyone over 50 get the vaccination. Sure. You know, uh, Austria is going to make everyone get vaccinated. Uh, There's another country in Europe that's also doing that, I think. Um, And, of course, New Zealand is another crazy country. Yeah, that film set of a country over there. Yeah, they're fucking, you know, they're a fucking nightmare. Um, You know, I I don't know. Thank thank God for the fucking Constitution. Uh, Like... Because, you know, these these uh, mandates are going to go to the Supreme Court. I don't see it holding up. Uh, they they might do. They're deliberating tomorrow, right? I'm not sure. It's close, though. It's pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I didn't think it was tomorrow, but it might be. <coughs> but, you know, it's like may, maybe you can make the, uh, the military get it. Maybe you can get federal employees to get it, but you can't do a blanket everybody in america fucking through osha like it might be uh one of those like obamacare ways where like oh no here they recommend like here's how you try to you know, how you can do it but florida's not gonna do it texas isn't gonna do it you got so many states that aren't gonna fucking do it that they, i mean it's so blatantly unconstitutional you know and i don't know we'll see how the supreme court fares on it i don't i don't I'm... trust them not hopeful. I I am a little hopeful on this. Uh, if the Supreme Court fails at it, I I don't see the states doing it, you know, or some states doing it. If I have to move to Texas, I'll move to fucking Texas. You know, uh, that's you're fine. in Florida. I think you'll be fine. I think so for now. You know, but uh, look, I, I, in Australia now. 
which is just a mess. I feel bad for my Australian friends. If you don't get the vaccine in Australia, let's again, I'm sorry, let's stop using their language. If you don't get the shot uh, in Australia, an acceptable reason to leave the house is not to go to work. You're not allowed to go to work anymore. That's not an acceptable reason to leave the house. So let me ask you this, you goddamn kangaroos. Uh, if you can't leave the house, what happens? You can't pay your rent. And then what? Then you become homeless. Well, then are they allowed to not have the vaccine? Like, what is? how does that work? They're going to be rounding up homeless people and shooting them up. That does seem likely. Yeah. Well, there have been videos of forcible vaccinations in that country, like forcibly vaccinating kids. Well, that's probably with parents' permission. I would at least. No, hope. there was a few cases. There was a, what, at least one case where, like, the father was protesting, and they just. Shot but what did the, But what did the mother say? I think the mother was also protesting. I'm not sure. This was a long time ago. Oh shit! Why is that not? Because I mean, I know people were mad about like there was videos of like retards uh, getting uh, the vaccine. And they were like, this is immoral and like all of that. And it's like, this yeah, is well, but yeah, but it's like, also, they're always going to cry when they get a shot. Like, this is just propaganda from the right, which I hate propaganda from the right as much as I hate it from the left. Why don't you just tell me the fucking truth? I don't know why that's so hard for people to do is you're like, hi, this is here. What's happened? Not hi, this is here. And uh, my opinion on it. And I go selectively edit it. That shit is annoying to me because I have to look at all of the fucking context of everything. Make it easy for me. I'm trying to be lazy. Why do you have to make it so hard? But that ended up being a whole bunch of bullshit. You remember that was going around fucking Twitter and they were like, look at them shooting up all the fucking retards with the vax. I actually don't. I, I, I'm pretty sure I missed this because I, if I, if, if there was video of retards getting shot up, I almost certainly would have seen it. It was, I would, I would remember that. It was like right around the time they just first started getting it. Oh, this is like a year, over a year ago. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, a while. There we go. Um, but people were like, "Look at what they're doing," and I'm like, "They were gonna cry even if you fucking, you know, gave them the flu back. Then. It wouldn't matter. They're upset. They're in distress. They're retarded. They don't, you know, it's not that their caretakers probably signed off on it. I assume because it's America. Uh, but." Yeah, whole deal, whole deal. And it's like, seriously, the right-wing propaganda does not help us at all. And like, just like, spreading, just, I, I don't want to say spreading common sense because that sounds like some politician bullshit. But like, uh, I'm spreading common sense. Vote well, for me, sensible centrist. Dude, I mean, realistically, yes. I would run on one thing. That shit's gay. Don't you guys think that's gay? I hate that. Sorry, gay people. I have no problem with you. I just mean that that, that particular thing is less desirable. Sorry again, gay people, but I'm 34. We just said everything was gay in the eighth grade, and I never stopped. So vote for me, gay people. But anyway, this shit is gay. <laughs> I should run for Congress. Marjorie Taylor Greene is in Congress. I should, I, I'll be in Congress. Me and Laura Loomer high fiving. My whole slogan will be like, "Fuck that." My whole, my whole campaign will be "Stop the spam calls." <laughs> I'd win on that. Stop the spam. Just cut it down to three words. Stop the spam. Like stop the steal. Nah, but. I don't want to be associated with that lot. Um, no, no, I'm, 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 it's not, it's not association, but it's the same kind of, you know, it plays on the same receptors. Fewer syllables, better slogan. Stop nah, the spam. Stop nah, the spam. No, nah, no. Nah. See, Matt, I'm an original. All right, so I'm thinking for my campaign poster. What I'll do is I'll, 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 I'll put myself. Uh, uh, first of all, I only do posters, not television. And then I will, I will put myself up like the crucified Lord. And then I will say, I'm so tired of getting spam calls from India. I won't and even then, say vote for your, Biden. It'll just then, be an art piece. And then all of your TV commercials will end with an Indian guy saying, thank you, spam again. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hello, I would like to talk to you about your car insurance. It is doing so bad today. I have told you that your 
you owe so much money to the IRS. We need those baby girls to send us Apple gift cards. <laughs> like, I should be. Fuck it, send it. Hello, I'm going for my, a Senate case. Hello, my name is David, and I would talk to you about your performance in the bedroom. If it is not <laughs> up to your up to your specifications, uh, may I interest you in discount Viagra? Does your baby jail not come in the buckets? The milk truck don't arrive. <laughs> Dude. We're getting banned, I think, now. Actually, that was that was a horrible bit. It was too much. Any of people run tech now, dude. We got to be careful. I would like to say that I love the great state of India. <laughs> I'm my, all... It is my greatest dream to go bathing in the Ganges. <laughs> I follow an Indian guy. He's like Indian American, I guess. Uh, an Indian American dude on uh twitter and like it started with he was like how could you insult india uh or no first of all it was how could you insult donald trump and then i was like you're fucking indian dude and then he was like yes i'm indian what does that have to do with it and it turns out he's pretty cool i like him i forget his name he's uh yeah i retweet him sometimes he's like q something He's not, he said it's not about QAnon. It's like about quantum learning or something. I don't know. He's some fucking it's trying about to build coming robots. Quick. I, I don't know. They all fucking, oh, milk truck just arrived. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> it, it's some type of deal. It's some bullshit. But yeah, he rules. He rules, dude. I You know, I think that guy rules. I like him. Wish I could remember his fucking name. I'm going to look him up real quick. This is fucking, he posts like a thousand times a day. I think he might be a robot himself. But hello, my name is Gunji's five thousand. <laughs> oh, ba oh, baby girls, please open bobs. <laughs> oh, we can't do that. Oh yeah, so it's uh, it's Sean underscore a uh, it's sean s-h-a-w-n underscore a-n-a-n-d and it's q space quantum ai so it's quantum <laughs> ai and yeah it's just this indian dude that fucking loves trump like all he does is like comment under he's like a reply guy but like he'll interact with him. he's a fun dude he's a nice guy uh he's got a decent sense of humor and everything. He's a he's a cool guy, but like all he does is reply under like Joe Rogan and shit. And he's like, "You must alert the president." <laughs> April, it's like twenty sixteen all over again, dude. It fucking rules. I love those guys. They're the best. Hello, I would like to notify you that patriots are in control. Oh, uh, no, he's always going on about Jeff Bezos and all that. He rules, dude. He completely rules. That guy rules. I wanted to get him on the show. Like, I mean, he's a cool guy. We should get him on. Maybe maybe uh, we will at some point. Oh, I will totally just do the same damn bit to him. But it was like, you think that that is funny. That is not so funny. You think that that is funny. But I, I cannot do my, oh, there we go. That is almost to my Indian accent today. That is Ah, uh, it's so hard to do that and and then not slip into the African accent. The show's love... racist, bro. This show's racist. If they ever say the show is racist, I can't. I there's no plausible deniability after this bit. This is I I can't be like, oh, I'm a comedian, and be like, yeah, but none of that was funny or even close to it. You're just bad at doing Indian accents. And just saying that they're all rapists. You're bad at those. Yes. Let's just say that we're like a low rent imitation of Comtown. Dude, no, because that show's racist too. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you play for the. We, we, we're getting to the metaverse. Can you play the damn metaverse video? Uh, this, was it something you sent me? Yeah, I sent it to you. I was like, we need to play this on the show, Matt. Yeah, I'm just I'm just making sure because like you've sent me a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, my day-to-day -day talkings with you as your friend. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was hoping you'd put things aside. Okay, 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 yeah. Is it, is it the video called Walmart VR Virtual yes. Shopping Experience yes. SSXW? Yes. Okay, let me Okay, let me pull that up. Oh, you sent so many things to me. Like, I'm fucking bothersome. But I just won't talk to you then, dick face. <laughs> no, you sent me, like, a ton of videos. And it's like, I don't know which ones you want to play on the show or not. Maybe some of them are go probably, for it. Probably the ones that, probably the ones where I go, hey, play this on the show. We should talk about this on the show. <laughs> All right. I've got it up. And, you lead the show. If I led the show and you were like, I think this is the thing, I'd go, ah, let me put that on a separate word document right there and I'd have it ready. And I would also lead the conversation in a way in which I. We don't have to watch the whole thing, by the way. It's three. It's like three minutes long. But hopefully I'll be able to hear it this time. Unlike what we were, the videos we were playing when we had Sebastian on. All right, let's go. Can you hear that? No, I can't hear it now. Oh, and nobody else can. (sighs) Well, it looks like a situation where like I can hear, but nobody else can. Everyone else can hear it, but I can't. So let me. Well, well, we can get that figured out through uh, using uh, uh, virtual line. Let me let me. Just I'll get switch. that. I can get that figured out next week, dude. Because uh, I keep meaning to do that with. Can all you hear that? Drops. No. Oh, for, oh okay. wait, wait! I for, now I I realize the issue. I forgot to enable audio on that tab. Uh, yeah, you should really be in charge of production. You fucking nail it every time. You're so good. You're <laughs> so good and smart. <laughs> there, there. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Try it again. See, these are things that I hear it? Feel it. No. I will be your shopping. There we your go. Shopping now can. assistant. Yeah. Now I can. Uh, module now I can. today. But just start it from there. Who cares? We're not watching all of it. Fuck this shit. Well, that's actually coming from my audio speakers. So like, whatever. That's fine. Let's go. Whatever it is. We don't need to hear the whole thing. Just skip to the, the, the one part. <laughs> This is what shopping is going to be in the future. Like opening a strange wound in Hi. a video game. Thanks for visiting Walmart. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Yeah, I want to I want to fuck Sam. Okay, let's get started. I have your shopping list loaded up and I'm tracking your oil change so I can let you know as soon as it's done. You see oh, the yeah. tomato sauce the on your left? Go ahead and grab that and then place it in your cart. I don't want tomato sauce, Sam. <laughs> Throw it. Be destructive. Great. Looks like you need a good wine pairing. Take a look to your right. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile, so no need to wait for an ID check. Just place the item in your cart whenever you're ready. This is hellish, right? Why does it get so dark? What is the point of it? I'm getting a notification from your connected smart fridge. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? I can't even get to eat. This is their video. They're like, this is how it'll work. And even it sucks. Hey, good news. Your oil change is done. Your vehicle will be ready at the tire and lube express. I've added the surface charge to your car. Okay, do I have to go now there? for the fun stuff. To electronics. Oh. I love how there's no moving. You definitely saved the best for last. This TV has great reviews on walmart.com. Add it to your cart, and I'll have it brought to the front for you. The front of fucking where? Need any accessories? Here are some options on jet.com. What is jet.com? Let's 
looks like that's everything on your list. Are you ready to check out with Walmart Pay? Wait, $900? I'll have the TV brought out to your car. Well, he bought a TV. Thanks for shopping at Walmart and have a great day. He bought a TV and an oil change and, like, I guess that's Okay, I guess that makes TV. sense. Like, does that not just look like some type of gay bullshit hell? Why would it do all of this? Thing? That's not good. That's not pleasing for everything the, the world to drop out beneath me. I don't like that. That was, uh, that was pretty bad. It's fucking horrible. And the thing is, that's not the way it's going to be, dude. Nobody's going to do that shit. Why are they trying to push this shit? Nobody's going to do it. It's because they literally have run out of ideas. They're like, okay, fuck. Microchips are super expensive. Can we sell them old ass technology that we've had for years? Uh, here's some gay VR shit. That's it. I'm sorry. We've reached where we're at as far as how fast and small shit can go. That's it. And now everything's so fucking expensive because of fucking Bitcoin. So they're like, here's a shitty version of it. You guys go put on your eyes. Fuck that. They're not doing that. It's not going to exist. It's not. Nobody's going to do that. Ever. You know what? It, you know what's easier than that? A fucking website on my phone. Nobody's doing it. It's how people people have trouble with that with websites on their phones. Exactly. Actually, actually, Slams brings up a good point in the chat. Imagine the old people who can't work apps on their phones trying to shop like this. Yeah, it's fucking. It's a dumb thing. What's happening to us right now with the like? Listen, something like metaverse will eventually happen. Absolutely. But it's not going to be some VR shit strapped to your goddamn head. We need to revisit. It's Google going to Blast. be a microchip under your right hand or in your forehead. It won't. Nope, it's not that. It, no, <laughs> I get where you're going. Yes, maybe that. Maybe. Uh, but do you remember people? Got, a couple guys got beat up for having Google Glass. You remember that back in like 2006 or whatever? Oh, right. Yeah. The idiots were going around with those special glasses. Right. And they got beat up for them, which is unacceptable and all of that but now we've got pokemon go and augmented reality and stuff you're not going to get people to do some gay ass vr experience augmented reality is how you ease people into this type of thing imagine a smartphone in your fucking windshield great uh it, you know uh, glasses that that do that that's great you could sell me that like you could It'd be like fuck that's a decent idea but you know this is dumb this is like in the 19 fucking 40s when they were like, I'm the science of the future. We'll be, everyone will have a personal spaceship. And it was like, and instead everybody just had a car. You know, it, it's not, it, it, it's a dumb thing. It's not going to happen. Metaverse as it is right now will not happen. The idea will happen. But what has Zuckerberg done that has actually worked? Nobody talks about Zuckerberg's failures. You remember when they tried to make a crypto? That fucking failed spectacularly. What have they done besides buy other properties? Fuck this. Meta, that is an excuse to rebrand after how horrible the last few years that it's been. Facebook has, leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. Facebook is like the one tech company that everybody hates. Yep. Exactly. It's so one of the few rebrand? things that brings people together in this torn apart and polarized country. So why wouldn't you rebrand? We're meta. You it makes perfect sense. Plus, 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 it's like plus, it's like meta is already a popular phrase for some reason. So it's right. like we're meta. So ever so they, it inserts it inserts the their their brand to everyone's conversation. Right. <clears throat> you know, it's oh, that's so meta. You know exactly. Um, you know, people it, people who say the word meta should be. Killed in Minecraft. No, no. Dude, I mean, there are certain things that are meta. I mean, meta jokes, things like that. My favorite meta joke is, I uh, uh, heard this uh, on a Norm MacDonald uh, clip, but uh, I'm on a seafood diet. So when I see food and it's fish, I eat it. That's what a meta joke is. Because the original joke is, I'm on a seafood, a seafood diet. When I see food, I eat it, right? That's the one everybody knows. But Norm McDonald's brilliant meta joke is, I'm on a seafood diet. 
when I see food and it's fish, I eat it. Meta is you are you have to, to know that that joke is funny. You need to know that original joke, which is I'm on a seafood diet. When I see food, I eat it. Meta jokes can be super funny. Yeah, there, you know, there there are justifiable uses of the word meta. Like I've heard the term meta sound. There's also meta politics, uh, and in your case, Bryden, meta penis. Ah, so that's a penis with inside a penis. Because <laughs> my dick is so big, it can house another one. <laughs> Keep talking shit, dick face. You know what, Matt? Uh, you know what my favorite meta thing is? What? In the future, uh, when I punch you because your face had never met uh, my fist. <laughs> I'll punch you in the noggin. <laughs> Fucking boop head. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't, I mean, like, dude, I think you have to be crazy to think the fucking metaverse thing is going to take up. And, and this is no respect to, uh, no disrespect to, like, our, uh, uh, I guess it's been on the show and an, an author on our site, uh, uh, was it Karen, right? Karen is always going off about how the metaverse is, like, going to be so bad. She's really smart. I disagree with her on this one thing. Uh, I don't think that, I, I don't think that it's going to, not yet. They've got to find a new way to do it. I mean, like, it's basically, the metaverse is basically they, like them giving, they're like, it's like they're doing a commercial and they're like, hey, put this, but like the first guy to have been a butt plug, but he just made it too big. And he was like, put this in your ass. And it's like the size of a log. You know, you got to scale it down for people to accept it. <clears throat> you just can't do it. Doesn't work. Yeah, I mean the the goatsy guy would be able to handle the log just fine. Yeah, yeah. The or average the guy, person, nope. Yeah, or the guy that stuck the uh, that 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 it broke the glass in his ass. Did he actually do that? What? No, I don't know if he, I don't think it's the same guy. But oh no, is, no, no. You know the guy I'm talking about. The guy who tried to stick to jar. No, in his I remember ass that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's really funny? The internet lives, and, and like I, I'm so happy. Like this, this was so odd to me. To just know that those types of things live on. There was, uh, I was going through TikTok, which I do about once a week, just to see what's up with the young kids. And uh, some guy made a reference to that. And I was like, yes, the internet is back. <laughs> because that was incredible. That was when the internet was good. It was like, why did this guy stick a, a jar of his ass? It broke. Why did he post it? He posted it. We still don't know. <laughs> We still don't know, but you could say the same for all the embarrassing stuff that ends up on the internet. No, but I do embarrassing <clears throat> shit on the internet all the time. So like, I think a lot of the time it's like somebody else is filming or like, like, I don't know. I mean, like my new year's Eve fucking mixed stream was fucking awful. I was wasted off my ass. I, I, I had a load of fun and everybody liked it, but you could see how it could be, you know, embarrassing if without context to where you'd be like, what the hell happened? So I think a lot of that stuff is people doing bits and things like that on the early internet. And we just didn't know. Like now everything's got a little tag at the bottom. It's like, you know, at world's only comic or whatever. Right. Yeah. So, you know, like, yeah, pain Olympics, that type of, a lot of that was fake by the way. But, like, there was an, an instance uh, on Reddit. I remember, I forget the guy's name. I haven't talked to him for years. Uh, professional actor. But some of his early stuff ended up posted on Reddit under, like, the cringe thing. And it was just him doing a character. But because he was a fat dummy falling out of a tree with a gun and then, like, getting stuck in it, it was like, ah, what an idiot. It was literally a sketch. So I, I mean, the first thing it. I mean the first thing I saw that effect when I was a kid was like a dude who put like a firecracker in his asshole and then lit it. Well, no, that's just being a dumb fuck. That's yeah, that's you go to the hospital for that shit. 
Well, there was another guy who did that in Australia, and he ended up uh, incontinent and blowing his dick off in the process. Yeah. So. Darwin Awards guy. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm just thinking out loud. Just thinking out loud. Just seems odd. But I am uh, I am out of the whiskey. You want to do Terror House News? Sure. All right. I'll be right back with a big old fucking fat ass glass of whiskey, Matt. And ready to slap you upside your fucking marshmallow looking head. You look like a goddamn Easter egg that nobody died. All right, tomorrow, everyone, a uh, full moon reaction by Justin Jeffrey will be out. Terror House Press. You can get that at terrorhousepress.com, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, many other places. Full moon reaction by Justin Jeffrey will be out tomorrow. It'll be on sale. Um, great book. We ran an interview with uh, Justin yesterday, and we also have a couple of excerpts over at Terror House Magazine. Uh, check it out. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful book, a book about the occult, a book about being, uh, in cell and a book about many, uh, many other interesting topics. Um, in two weeks on January 21st, we will uh, be publishing Blood Poppy by Jay Black, um, a novel about the, uh, opioid crisis that is, uh, afflicting the U S and Canada, the war in Afghanistan, um, a crime novel. Very interesting stuff. Most of you probably know Jay Black from his novel Gutter Snipe, which we released, uh, we released um, in 2021. Um, Gutter Snipe, when it was first published in 2004, was actually the subject of a hate speech investigation by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Um, so Jay, he's a writer who has the goods. Um, so Blood Poppy by Jay Black will be out January 21st. We'll also be running excerpts from that on Terror House Magazine, as well as a print interview with Jay very, very soon. And, of course, we have many great books coming this year and many other projects that have not uh, that are not yet ready to be announced from Terror House Press. Um, that will be happening very uh, – stay tuned. And if you want advanced notification of all of our news, um, before anyone else gets to see it, Sign up for our newsletter. You can do so at terrorhousepress.com. There is a sign-up form right on the front page. Um, you'll get our monthly newsletter as well as exclusive coupon codes and deals you can't find anywhere else. Bryden. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Hey, buddy. Yeah. This is either too much whiskey or not enough whiskey. Uh, looks like the right amount of whiskey. I don't know. We never know. We never we never know. Um, but yeah, yeah, books. Here, let me do my let me do my terror house news. We got books. They're pretty good. And ever, there's probably a sale. Did you know there's a new guy that wrote a book for us? That one's you can get it for cheaper than normal. So scurry along. Buy books. That way you can. That way you can be like, ah, oh, I've got a cool book that nobody's heard of. You know, realize that most of the people that buy these books, like buy them because they're like, whoa, I've got some obscure book. They're worse than people that buy vinyl records. Very smart to insult the customer base, Brian. They're not my customer base. I'm just here. I'm just, I'm the homeless guy that started hanging out outside of the Terror House fucking building. And then now I just drink at it. Like, no. Nah. They follow me on fucking Twitter. They do it. They're like, oh, let me follow Brian. I'm like, fuck you. And they're like, oh, Brian, fuck you. I mean it. I thoroughly mean it. Fuck you. That's why I don't follow you back. Fuck you. You're not funny. Poetry. Dickheads. They're fine. You got to get into something like I, I remember, you know, early in the program, like early in the, uh, the years of the, of the program, you remember when I was like, you know, who's great. Benjamin Welton. And then I got to know Benjamin Welton. Then I'm like, he's a fucking faggot, dude. <laughs> this is why I don't meet anybody else. He's in the chat right now. He's a great guy, but he's a fucking faggot. Fuck Benjamin Welton. Buy his books, though. And buy all the Terror House books. Because you're totally rebelling against the system, man. Remember, wear trip pants and eyeliner. It would rule if like everybody was new metal again though. You should wear eyeliner. 
No. Yes, in trip pants. No. It'll be a goth podcast. Goth cast. Terror house well, radio. I, I, last night, I accidentally almost bought a, a pair of pants that were labeled goth, so. Yeah, dude, you should wear goth pants. We just wear, like, trip pants all the time. I'll have a chain wallet. Fingerless gloves, dude. Oh, we gotta go fingerless gloves. And then, like, I was gonna say we'll both grow our hair out, but I'll grow my hair out and then like dye it black and we'll be like oh, we're all stars now in the dope show. That would rule. We'll be the goth cast. That would kick ass. That would be so much better than this show. Think about it. Think well, about I mean, it. Well, I mean you're also well, I mean you're also fat, so I guess you could pull off the goth. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pot. <laughs> you know, that's fucked up because you're, you're shaped like a kettle. So fuck you. <laughs> nah, I just, I just got the, I just got the regular jeans, the regular hip jeans. The hip jeans. Yeah. You're wearing. You're wearing low hip jeans. No hip. No hip, as in cool. Ah, I don't know if you should be wearing jeans. I think we're both too old to be wearing jeans, really. Since when is that the case? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm going into like more. You're wearing of like an a, American flag shirt, asshole. Ah, uh, it's a button up though. It's a button up. I wear button ups. And then, like, I only wear, like, T-shirts for, like, you know, comedic effect. But, like, outside of that, man, I'm wearing, like, uh, slacks every day. Or I'm wearing, like, khaki pants or, like, gym shorts. You know? I'm getting old. I'm running into the old guy thing. Like, I got hats that I like. And I, you know, I keep you it casual. Like a, you've got, like, a flat cap. Nah, I don't have, like, a new era thing, dude. I, I wish I should get one. But like they're too expensive. Hat. Top hat would rule. You can't beret, wear headphones beret. with it. A beret would be great. I would love, I love funny hats. I mean, yeah, definitely. That's for sure. You should wear, know. you should wear a hat though. That we, that we just stop blinding everybody. <laughs> like, I don't wear hats. You should, why not though? You're not a hat guy. I hate hats. Why? Because they rub up against your, your luscious skin, <laughs> your baby skin. I just don't like the way they look. They would look like your head, except they were pointing at somebody. I don't. You should I, wear berets. You should wear berets of all people. Nah. I don't, oh, you go. We can get you a beanie like Tim Pool. I hate beanies most of all. Yeah, they just. The only time I wear a hat. The only time I wear a hat is when it's cold out and I have to stay warm. Baby, it's bald outside. Um, <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Um, no, I don't know. I'm a hat guy. I like cats. I like them. It's weird you don't like cats, but I guess to each is, to each is bald. Um I don't, uh, yeah, huh. Yeah, do we sell Terror House hats? We actually don't. Uh, let me see if that's actually an option now. We've got t-shirts, you know, hoodies and all that. I'd um, wear a, I'd wear a Terror House ball, uh, uh, fucking baseball cap for sure. I was contemplating selling COVID masks at one point, but uh, the way the, the prints can't, turned out were, like, really bad. Like, it printed, it didn't put the logo, like, on the fake part that covers your face. So it you just have no – no, fuck you. So you just have no fucking – what do you mean you were considering wearing uh, – selling Terror House COVID masks? Yeah, considering it until I quit came the out podcast. Like... I quit the podcast. That's, that's fucking – no – no, you're you're a demon. It turns out you're you're part of the. Hey, everybody! Matt's Jewish. Matt's Jewish. Jokes wrong with Matt's Jewish. The hell is that? 
<laughs> oh, I was considering fucking you're what the hell? As a as a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, it's just a bit. <laughs> I'm just sucking this dick as a bit. Fuck you. I would have put I would have quit. I literally would have quit. <laughs> I would have quit. I was furious in August uh of 2020 when I, I, I went to Vegas or not Vegas, uh Reno and Tahoe. Uh, and was like, I had to wear a fucking mask. I got an American flag mask. I wore it, you know, down the whole damn day. And then I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll do the thing when I get yelled at. And I'm like, oh, I'll take it back. I was so furious. That was the, around the same time that I was so furious. Getting into fights with people with the Publix all the time. Getting into uh, fights with people with the Kroger all the time. When I was getting, all the time. And this is when you were like, you know when we could make a buck? <laughs> really? <laughs> It was actually around May of that year, but still a monster. <laughs> still a monster. Around the time that I made a, a Erica painted it for me, I guess a mask that said "Fuck Dewine" on it because I was in uh, Ohio and Mike Dewine is a son of a bitch. No, you're a monster. <laughs> I think I am going to manufacture them now just to be annoying. I think you're just trying to manufacture consent because you're one of them. <laughs> okay, Chomsky. Yeah. You remember when he was cool? And then now he's like, we have to kill the people that don't get the vaccine. He's, <laughs> he got weird. Uh, he got really weird. Oh, well. Jimmy Dore has taken his place because Jimmy Dore is now just fucking, excuse the term, based uh well, i jimmy Dore hasn't been getting money from the cia yet that's the difference yeah well that's kind of the nightmare um i like am i far off here we might have talked about this shit before am i far off here for thinking that like people like vosh and hassan and all of that are getting some type of intelligence money well, I mean, wasn't that proven? Because it's like, just a, it's just a hunch. Wasn't that proven with like the bread to people in Britain? Like the government was giving them money to Fuck promote me. lockdowns. Who said? Somebody in my chat the other day said that to me, and I was like, I don't know what that is. So you gotta, you gotta clean what, me bread tube. Oh, I know what bread tube is. It's that tranny and then Hassan and like all those people. But like, I didn't hear about a British organization doing that. I think it was, I I, I wouldn't even know my chat. It was in, uh, Glon was saying it. Yeah, the news, this is a couple of weeks ago. Let me see if I can dig it up. But basically some fund that is fu also funded by the British government, like gets all of its funding for the British government, was right. giving money to like Philosophy Tube um, and H Bomber Guy to have them promote lockdowns. I still don't know who those two people are. Philosophy Tube is... Uh, that he, sounds like something I would like. She's. She, she's um, I have to say she because um, she is trans. trans um, does all these elaborate theater kid videos on left-wing politics. And Fuck H. Bob guy is also a bisexual who does videos on left wing politics. So when you say bisexual, you mean he like to he likes to buy hookers? No, I mean he likes to have sex with men and women. Eh, good for him. And on I'm, I'm willing to put money on it. In five years, he's going each bomber by guy will be each bomber girl. Uh, yeah, it's a deal. Um, you know who's the best philosophy goddamn guy on the goddamn internet? And I've plugged him before, uh, but it doesn't matter. The Academy of Ideas. The Academy of Ideas kicks ass. Show your left wing friends the Academy of Ideas because he talks about was talking about a year ago, ta uh, like that uh, mass formation psychosis bullshit. <clears throat> a year ago, he was talking about it. Uh, maybe not that long, but several months ago. But uh, I would send me that. I'd be I'd be interested in that. Uh, because, there's also like, there's also a book I'm going to read for some reason. It's not available on Kindle, even though it would probably sell a lot more if it was. It's called Bread Tube Serves Imperialism by Caleb Malpin. And it's basically an examination of all of these figures, including people like Vaush and Hassan, and how, despite their supposed we should credentials, know, we should, but, they're right all pro-imperialism. They're all we should, pro the government. We should know. First of all, they are, but we should note that you said figures because you said it rather loosely. But we should note that you said figures. So maybe try it again and enunciate the word better. 
Just so everybody knows. Figures? Yeah, because the way you said it kind of oh. sounded like my favorite word. Oh. So, uh, figures. Yes. These. So say it again with the figures. enunciation so everybody figures. knows. Yeah. Figures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it sounds pretty rough. Figures. You're, oh, you're pretty. You're pretty close. Figures. 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 As opposed to uh, what you said, which is just a letter away, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's just your accent, but like, it's rough. Okay. I have to have said that word like in one of the previous. 80 episodes. Oh, and I'm sure. now it's an issue? Well, I'm just, I just noticed it. It just, it does kind of, and now nobody can ever unnotice it. Because uh, it does sound like it. But yeah, I mean, Brett, Brett, it was an obvious construct from the start. I mean, YouTube blatantly promotes their shit. I mean, yep. they've, they've bragged about how they'll intentionally use the same tags and uh, terms as like right wing YouTube hosts so that they could show up in the recommendations. Um, all that shit is pushed by the algorithm. Right. And and just them being good at the algorithm, I mean, doesn't bother me. But if YouTube specifically is pushing a certain type of thing, it's still hilarious that you know who gets the most views right wing people. Oh, because yeah. Because you have to specifically, you know, it's because and it's, it's, it's worth pointing out that like their, their grand like enemies at this point are like people like Jordan Peterson. Yeah, Prager U, like Gra the Gravel Institute, which oh god, they haven't uh, they it, haven't they haven't blown through all their seed capital yet. I was expecting that would to are they not done pretty fast. I They're apparently heard, still around. Good for them. Hey, get you know, I mean, anyone at the Gravel Institute, stop on by. I'd love to talk to you about you know all of your dumb shit. Uh, but like their whole their major enemy is Prager U. Which, I don't know one guy that came from PragerU. I have never watched a PragerU video in my life. They make fine videos, I guess. You know who makes better videos? Steven Crowder. Like, I, you know, I don't know. I never ben watched Shapiro. A, I never like, watched, I've never watched a Crowder video either. Ah, I don't care what you people have to say. Steven Crowder can be funny sometimes. I think he's a funny guy. He he weirds me out with the cross dressing. It's comedy, dude. Yeah, cross dressing used to be comedy. Now, now, hold on, Matt. You so, may not no, know no, this. No, no, that, that actually wasn't in response to you. It was something else. So, but uh, continue with the bit. Back in, it's not a bit. This is I'm serious. Back in the day, there's a there's a a, a great comedy called Some Like It Hot. There's uh, a great comedy called White Girls. There's a great there's a great amount of comedies where dudes dressed up like women, and it was considered comedy. And then something there was happened. A, there, there was a there was a there was a great there was a great uh, actor on SNL called Keenan Thompson. Sure, he's still on there, I think. But I'm thinking uh, also, who was uh, the guy uh, who did Mango? You know, you remember Mango. Vaguely. Yeah, what was that guy's name? Who did Mango? Uh, why can't I remember his name? Chris Kattan, thank you. Chris Kattan, you know, he did Mango. Like, there was a time in our lives when a dude dressing up as a lady was like, that's funny. He's That's being funny. Uh, so I don't mind that, that Crowder does drag and shit because it's funny dude because it's fucking funny when a guy dresses up as a lady it's funny but now oh it's not funny because of trans uh, and that shit's fake uh it's fake maybe this gets us banned trans is fake it's not real all right so i don't know man like it, it's i i don't know why people don't like crowder yeah his takes are kind of dumb or whatever but like he's the new corporate, like he's I've, the new type of, you know, it's like, it's like an, why I listen to Glenn Beck, you know, Glenn Beck's got ice cold fucking takes on some shit, but it's the only one that's been talking about the great reset. So like, eh. I've been, I've been, I've hated Crowder for like a decade when he wrote an article for Fox News bragging about how he was a virgin until his wedding day. Yeah. This shit is hilarious. Not on purpose, but it is hilarious. 
I can see it's hilarious from that perspective. I just thought he was a prick. Yeah, he is a prick. I don't think that I'd ever be friends with that guy. He's also but, Canadian. That's another strike against him. Yeah, I don't like that. But you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta tell, you gotta pick your fucking battles. And Stephen Crowder's not the worst guy, you know. Yeah, like of all the Canadians who have come down here to meddle in our politics, he's probably the least offensive. I would rank exactly. David David Frum and Mark Stein as worse. Ah, Mark Stein's okay. Mark Stein's I'll... a piece of shit. Ah, Mark Stein. First off, he's, he's Canadian, but he has a British accent. That's weird. Oh, I didn't know he was Canadian. I thought he was British. No, he's Canadian. Um, uh, that's where he grew up, but he somehow has a British accent. That's weird. Uh, number two, he used to be a super anti-American guy. Like he wrote a he wrote a column back in what was what, 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 when were the Olymp, uh, Olympic uh, was it Oklahoma City or the Olympic bombings? I think it was Oklahoma City. He wrote a column. You have back too then. many bombings. He wrote a column back then, ca- calling the Amer- Americans are idiots and they're cowards and they're running everywhere and you know they deserve all this and well, he was all of that's American and then he became. And then 9-11 happened, and he suddenly became rah-rah America because it was good for his career. Or maybe did he see that America didn't deserve what had happened to her, and, you know. I truly doubt that. Well, okay. He Do probably you think still that... hates America in his heart because no, he's Canadian. So, well, they can, they can recover from that. It's like COVID. Uh, do you, like, do you think maybe, like, from the time of 9-11 – until now that maybe he might have evolved a little bit. Aren't you a different person? Haven't your views evolved? Because here's the thing. If your views haven't evolved since 9-11, that's weird. That, that, that's weird. You're Dick Cheney. That's Have weird. your views evolved? Yes, because I was in the eighth grade. They've, a view, they've evolved tons. My view, my views have evolved since last year because I learned shit. Your view should should evolve. That's called new information. This is called actual science. I am science. I am science. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, bride. Baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? Middle. Right? Wrong. No, that was karaoke. This is science. Boop, boop, boop. This is science, Matt. No, if your views haven't evolved since 9 11, you're fucking crazy. I get that. But I didn't know that about him. But, uh, you know, I thought he was okay. It's Mark Stein in for Rush Limbaugh type of fucking deal. Fine. I liked him because he stood in for Rush sometimes. And we're coming up on Rush Limbaugh's fucking death anniversary, and I'm Damn. upset about Yeah, I know. Well, you know how much he meant to me and shit like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, like, that stuck. That, that sucks. But, yeah, he used to, like, fill in for Rush all the time. So I was assuming that he was cool. But... You know, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he stinks. I didn't I, I didn't know he stunk that hard. I just liked him. Everybody who stood in for Rush, I liked. Well, he's that accent fools people. Americans are provincial idiots in that they think anyone with a British accent sounds so smooth. They're so intelligent. Well, I never think that they're particularly smart, but uh, it's a interesting out, uh, accent. I mean, works, I'm sorry, it... We've had Bo on the show. Bo's a jackass. We're Biden. We're Biden. Like, I hate the British accent. Well, you're in the minority. I mean, yeah. Arrested Development made fun of this, like, I, yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah, it was a great show. MR, was it uh, uh, MRE or what? Uh, Mentally Retarded Female. There you MRF. go. MRF. Mr. Yeah, yeah, F. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Mr. F. It's such a good. That was season three, which was not the strongest season until they made the other fucking shit, which was awful, bad stuff. 
David Horowitz should not have made that other fucking uh, Netflix nonsense. It was not good. Did you watch the recut of season four? Yeah, it was better, but still not good. Yeah, yeah, it was not as good as the original. It was a lot better than the original version, which was season four, four was terrible. Yeah, because it had like a new idea to it that nobody cared for. Well, the idea of having each episode focus on like one character was just like, right. weird and took all the energy out of it. Yeah, it just wasn't good. Well, it expected the audience to be a lot smarter than it was. And it's like, you know, that uh, it, it yeah. just give me the story. Don't do the thing. The recut was so much better, but it's still. Uh, and then now, you know, Lucille is dead. So uh, Lucille one is dead. So they can't even finish it. They shouldn't have done that fucking. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it. The first two seasons are great, and then the third is just okay. And then they shouldn't. Have I think the third one's pretty good. I mean, it's a little rush. It's a, like half the length, but like the whole the whole mentally retarded female plot line was pretty good. Yeah, but it also had the first time in which uh, somebody within uh, that wasn't in the family was being filmed. Because you remember it was her with her dad. Oh right, yeah. So it kind of takes the whole documentary type of thing, which was like an unspoken deal away with it. It, it just yeah it's still fine and i think that it's good but ugh, god it's kind of like community dude like community seasons one two and three are incredible five is great but four and six are garbage you know it's it's the way that it is being a fan of shit is so gay <laughs> like you shouldn't ever like things. Exactly. I believe that. Unironically. What's the point? All it ever does is let you down with you another just, you, season. You should You should just be a twisted um, shell of hatred percolating in your apartment with a bottle of booze. Yes. They're going to fuck me on goddamn Bioshock. You know that, right? They're making two more Bioshock games. You know wait, they're gonna be wait, bad. wait, two? Yeah. Now there's two. Yeah, now there's two. You know it's gonna be bad, right? Well, yeah. You, you were the one who was excited for them. I wasn't. No, I am excited for them, Matt. I'm really excited for them. But you know they're gonna be bad. Also, you might like this. They're doing the remake of System Shock. That's coming out this year. That's that good. I'm gonna play. That's very good. Yeah. I think that one's been trapped in development hell forever. Well, it's supposed to come out this year. So it should be cool. I'm excited. Because you like that game. And you yeah, said they're great you know, games. They're impossible to get into if you didn't grow up with them, but they're great games. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool games that it looks like are gonna come out this uh next couple of years though. Like I had, I my I don't think my computer will run it, but uh, they've got that uh, Matrix fucking reloaded or whatever. Oh yeah, the one, or, the one, the one, the one with uh, Keanu Reeves and Kenny Harry and Moss doing the facial capturing. Yeah, yeah, but they've got like this this preview of like the Unreal Five engine, and it looks fucking incredible, dude. Like, I it, it looks so good. Whenever any of us are allowed to have new computer parts again, I think they might have figured out ray tracing, and it might just be nuts. So, but I don't know. I mean, we're gonna be like the people in Russia that are still playing Counter Strike 1.6. All right, we're fucked. I don't know. I'm fine. I mean, I this computer is. Uh, I actually bought Death Stranding last night, and I was playing it earlier today. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, but that's a shame because that game is fucking stupid. But uh, well, I mean, it, well, I I forgot that it was a Kojima game, and like the first half hour, about twenty five minutes of it are cutscenes. So I don't know. Well, you can. Uh, yeah, it, were you compelled to drink Monster Energy? Like, I, it's just stupid. Yeah, this shit is stupid. Because like people, people were like, "Oh, Silent Hills, that was gonna be so good. It would have been horrible." Thank God he never made that fucking game. 
you know, I, I hope Kojima never tries to make a fuck PT inspired tons of, of games. And I think that that is good, but it also put a, a, a horrible fucking pill into like horror game development for fucking years that I hope people like ultimately, I mean, we got like resident evil seven, resident evil five, or I'm sorry, resident evil eight, but you know, it, it, it brought first person horror back into a thing and puzzle stopping and stuff. But do kiss my ass. Those like this overly hard, stupid fucking esoteric puzzle games are not fun. You know, like, oh, 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 oh it's a ghost is gay. You know, nobody likes that shit. I don't like having to think. No, I, I don't. You know who does a better job of telling horror stories in video games? Bloober team. They're the people that may be taking over Silent Hill. And I say good. Good. Because they tell horror stories. Horror games are are two things. They're either survival horror or they're fucking walking simulators. That's it. Everything else is dumb. Everything what? else is dumb. You're not a fan of first person shooters? Those are walking simulators. No, they're not. You think Bioshock is a walking simulator? Bioshock is a first-person shooter, but I don't look at it as a horror game. Why not? It's got plenty of scary moments. It was clearly designed to be a horror game. It's an action game. Elements. It's an action game. It's an action horror. That's a completely different game. Okay. It's not a horror game. So I mean, it's like my favorite game, but like it's an action horror. There's too much action. Now it's all it's not as actiony as like you know Infinite or anything like that. But well, yeah, Infinite has no horror elements at all, aside well, from the one jump, aside from the one jump scare. It has horror elements. I mean the the uh, atmosphere uh, atmospheric bullshit that you deal with is is rather horrifying. Because you're dealing with a dystopian fucking possibility. That one wasn't written by uh, uh, Ken Levine. Or, yeah, it was. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, Bioshock 2 wasn't. Uh, but the, also the same thing. Bioshock takes an idea of like an atmospheric horror. It's atmospheric horror. If you even want to give that. It's kind of an action game. Uh because like you're 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 still trying to like outsmart the enemies around you and stuff like that versus like having a psychological horror uh done a, a done upon you um there's too much action involved i think anything where you're armed is an action horror you know which is why the best of all of these things is outlast Outlast, Outlast 2, and Outlast Whistleblower are incredible. And that's why I'm looking forward to the Outlast Trials. Great games. So I imagine they're going to make an incredible co-op game. Looking forward to it. You got to buy it so we can play it. We will not do episodes. We will just play this game. Okay. Sounds fun to me. I don't know. You still haven't bought, bought Golden Light, have you? No, that's that. Uh... It's the meat one. It's the it's the it's the horror it's the horror shooter action game about meat. No, I don't remember it at all. I recommended it to you, and you put it on your wish list. You haven't bought it yet, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, I have like four hundred and fifty things on my wish list. Well, we're going. You're going to buy that, and we're going to stream that. All right. I'll buy. I'll buy and play Outcast Trials with you if you buy and play Golden Light with me. Well, I think that's fair. I think we're gonna find out that one of the two of these games is scarier. I know nothing about Outlast, but uh, Golden Light looked pretty. Looked pretty freaky. But like anything you, involving meat in that manner freaks me the hell out. Ah, uh, you don't know anything about horror games, bro. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Not a thing. No, you got to play out last. You've played every shitty horror game in existence. That makes yes. you an expert, I guess. I played every good horror game in existence, besides Resident Evil 8, and every shitty one. Yes, yes, I have. Absolutely, yes, I have. 
I you gotta remember, like I got into uh doing shitty fucking, you know, like playing horror games back in like 2019, 2018, 2019. And then that was all I played. Like forever, dude. I used to be too scared to play out last. I was like, oh, it can't. And then now I speed run that motherfucker. <laughs> it's a great game. It's not oh, something yeah. you, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's something you should admit, Brian. Oh, it was too much of a pussy to play a video game. Go play out last. No, 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 you fucking dumb shit. No, no, no. <laughs> How many fucking horror games you no, I here I I will I will find it. Go play out last. Go play out last, and then you could tell me. All right, you, you, it's a scary game. You go play it, you dumb fuck. What was the last horror game you played? Death Stranding. Ah, oh, yeah, you've never played a horror game. Yes, you I dumb have. fuck. You've <laughs> never played it. Get out of here. Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> you dumb fuck. I have trained in horror games. It's you don't know shit about horror games. You dumb fuck. It, like that's incredible. You're like, yeah, they're probably not even that. No, you should play them. You should do it. They're designed by people artists and scientists and shit to scare you so you you don't know what you're talking about you've never <laughs> played a horror game oh did you play resident evil back in the fucking stick and you know tank control day no 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 i want you to play some of these modern horror games all right dork you fucking you don't tell me that type of shit <laughs> idiot <laughs> I get you scared playing Left 4 Dead, motherfucker. Fuck off. <laughs> Pussy. Oh, nothing of that. Nothing. God damn. So we're going to talk about uh, uh, these riots or, or what? Were we supposed to? I don't know. I mean, there weren't I thought that was the kind of the running joke of this episode, that we're talking about every anniversary except that one. No, I was just thinking that there weren't any riots today. There, well, there's riots in Kazakhstan. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What happened with them? They're... The whole government resigned, apparently, and like people are running Wait, around what with are guns. You... Hold on, hold on. What do you mean the whole government resigned? Like the prime minister and all the ministers just quit. Well, what's going to happen to them? The president will appoint new ones, I guess. Who's he? He's the guy who's ostensibly in charge. Yeah, but when did he get there? Uh, he's been there forever. So he was just like, so everybody was like, we like the president, but not all these other guys. Well, they don't like the president either, but like, I, you know, it's one of those weird parliamentary systems where it's like the president, like the president controls foreign and defense policy and the prime minister does everything else. So apparently, it's, oh, it's it's like uh, head of state, head of nation type. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And apparently, what sparked off the riots was like an increase in the price of gas. Huh? Because I was told it was Bitcoin and mandates. What, what does Bitcoin have to do with it? I don't know. Apparently, they're the number one country for mining Bitcoin or something. I really don't know. I don't know. I can. They barely... are a big Bitcoin. They are a big Bitcoin mining hub, but I don't see why people would riot over that. Oh, I, I don't know either, but someone it on I, people just say things on Twitter, and I'm like, huh, that's Kazakhstan is a real country. I thought that was the Borat country. Um, I well, always forget they exist. Yeah, the thing is with um, what was it? Yeah, I mean, there were supposedly Bitcoin riots in El Salvador like a few months ago. These riots were like a couple dozen people. What are they? I mean, like, I, I think Bitcoin's gay too, but like, I don't go and smash a window about it. Well, like, they were supposedly mad over it being made a currency there, which is, again, only two dozen people showed up because the average Salvadorian doesn't even know what Bitcoin is. And yeah. it doesn't affect their life in any way if Bitcoin is a currency. I mean, it might. I don't know. We don't live there, Matt. The biggest change I, I, I see it, it made in El Salvador is that you can now buy, uh, like, a coffee at Starbucks using Bitcoin. 
I mean, which, you do you know you do know that I believe uh, I I do believe with that one Chinese guy that said it. Like, if Bitcoin destroys the dollar, we all die. Like, I do believe that. If it replaces the dollar, we're fucked. Do you think it will replace the dollar? No, not in a million years. I don't. But if it did, we'd be fucked. No, yeah, then nothing to worry about. Well, there's plenty to worry about, but I don't think it's I don't think it's that. We don't have enough Bitcoin, Matt. I've got some Bitcoin. You got some Bitcoin. Not enough to be fine, though. But no, I I don't think that we're at any risk for this. I think that uh, the the U.S. government will make its own cryptocurrency because I do think that the U.S. government invented Bitcoin. I think I this is this is who Satoshi uh, uh, Mokunaro or whatever it is. I think it's the U.S. government. I literally think it's the U.S. government. And go on a fucking bit shoot deep dive on that one. You can find plenty of fucking evidence for this shit. I'm not equipped or sober enough to to sit, speak properly on it. But no, I think the Bitcoin was invented by the U.S. government. Ah, uh, does that sound too fucking far off from reality of what you could? Nah, but uh, you haven't expl- you haven't been given a motive so far. Because the dollar is dying. So they invented a cryptocurrency all the way back in the aughts because of yes. this. Yes. Well, it's been dying forever. Right? So you do that. Uh, and then you get everybody all motivated on this. You crash the dollar. And then what do you end up with? Um, fine. We know this technology is worse. We've got the U.S. digital dollar. And uh, our debts are you know, 25% of what they used to be. And uh, then we just go with the USDD, which is the US digital dollar. Mm -hmm. This is, it makes sense to me. And it's in line with great reset fucking thinking. You know, what was that fucking tweet? Do you have that tweet you sent me, which you should bring up, which I think is so interesting because, you know, I'm saying there won't be lockdowns again. Oh, the one from Martin talking about Right, about how, about uh, how this is well, COVID restrictions are deflationary. Right. I think this is such... I don't believe it, but it's such... It's, I hadn't thought of it. It's such an interesting fucking thought that, like, it's been worrying me, frankly. Like, I've been thinking about it. But, well, it makes sense on a basic level. It's like inflation is caused by money velocity. Less money velocity, inflation goes down. And you can decrease money doesn't. velocity by just preventing people from spending money. But they, but they won't stop spending money. I, I like I. But I can see how idiots would believe that. Um. But yeah, if you can bring that one up and, and, and read it, I think it's such a fucking. It hasn't gotten out of my head. It was. It, it was. It was. It was a response to uh, the city of Hamburg in uh, in Germany announcing that only uh, the new cover restrictions. Put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. Um, okay. Put it on the screen. This is this is called being a producer, Matt. Put it on the screen. Uh, I have not stopped thinking about this shit because it's a it's such a fucking like it makes sense. It makes like sense of that's something these idiots would fucking do. It, it makes no fucking economic sense, but it does short term and in a and in a way it is still maintain power and, and continue everything that we're we're headed towards. Like I had not thought of it this way. But yeah, it's a response to Hamburg announcing that only people who are vaccinated with a booster shot can now um access indoor venues. Two okay. shots aren't enough anymore in this city. You have to have three. Okay, let me do it. Uh, just in, hashtag Hamburg enacts new COVID restrictions. Only the, quote, boosted are now allowed to attend restaurants, cultural, and sporting events indoors without testing. So this Martin Eric uh, fella, quote, tweets that with, this is what managed defl- uh, this is what managed deflationary policy looks like. In lieu of effective zero-bound monetary policy, this reduces uh, velocity of money while quantitative easing runs unabated. This uh, this just proves they're willing to drag. Oh, this is this just proves they're willing to drag. 
Hmm. Glasses. This just proves they're willing to drag out uh, this as long as they are able. Will there be a breaking point? I think there is one coming. They'll just come up with another scheme. Climate lockdowns, for instance. So that's something that smart people have been saying forever, like me and Matt, about climate lockdowns. I think that there's going to be they uh, what have we been saying is that they need to have another lie, correct? Mm -hmm. They can't do this one anymore. I think they've got to give up on the lockdowns because the economy's so fucking bad. That they, they don't they're not letting us know how bad it is. But this has thrown me through a fucking loop. Because this might actually I mean it's not a smart way to do it, but god damn it, that might be their like logic behind it. So there might be more fucking lockdowns and they're going to go. This is how we get rid of inflation. It won't work, but damn, that might be their fucking idea. So whoever that is, I got to follow that fucker because and he's, he's cool. Martin's cool. Uh, he's at seal Slav on Twitter or cello. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. S E L O Slav. Well, let's get him on the show to talk about that. But like it, it that was the only one that I'm like, fuck, why didn't I think of that? Of course they could excuse it through this. There's only been a couple people that have said, how do you reduce inflation, get the vaccine? This is how they could excuse it. It, it, it might, it might be, I still don't think it, I don't think that's what they're going to do, but the hints are there. It might be that I might be wrong. They might say that the economy is so bad because of unvaccinated people and and mean it. They might be that stupid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not they're just evil. They're also stupid. Well, they're also counting on the fact that the average person knows nothing about economics because, uh, spoiler alert, economics isn't real. Kidding. Yeah. Okay, you better fucking... <laughs> You better fucking back up before I start screaming at you. Oh, man. That, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, no, that's an interesting fucking idea. I never thought that anybody would be that motherfucking stupid. Like, they might be. Because, like, the thing is, like, I do think that, like, when Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden is like, you know what we're going to do? Price fixing on meat. That'll fix it. I think that there are people that really believe that. They got, These motherfuckers believe modern monetary theory will fucking work. I do think that they believe it'll work. I, 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 I don't think that they... When everybody has some bad idea that they're really behind, I do believe that they think it'll work. I might just be wrong. And I might be giving too much people too much fucking credit. But I think like I'd rather think that they're stupid than evil. I think they're just really stupid. And they believe that this will work. Am I stupid for believing them? I know I'm not stupid for my idea of scarcity equals fucking value because that just makes sense and that's what you should do like me and everybody over at the libertarian camp at the mises institute and all of those guys smart guys them more than me because i'm not very smart but matt i am i stupid for thinking that these people really think this idea would work i can see them thinking it would work which means they're not demons. It just means that they're stupid. Yeah. So that means you can't really hate them. You can hate what they do, not them. Right? That's yeah. the moral route. You got to hate the sin, not the sinner. Right? Yes. So anyway, somebody, you know, I feel like AOC deserves to give everybody a blowjob for her bad ideas. And then after that, we're good. We'll go back to the fucking gold standard. 
Well, the gold standard will completely crash the economy. But oh yeah, no, that we can't do that anymore. It won't work. <laughs> but I like it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm not crazy, right? These people are going nuts with money. Yeah, they're crazy. They're the crazy ones. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably also one of the crazy ones, but different type of crazy. Yeah, you're like, the harmless, you're the harmless, funny crazy. Yeah, I think that those people are like destroying the country. And you know, they didn't run up to the Capitol over like they didn't run up to the Federal Reserve and said they were just mad about Trump. Nobody, it, 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 nobody was like, hey. Stop fucking printing money and bailing out shitty banks. Nobody said that. Instead, they were like, fuck Mike Pence. What a fucking, you know, what a mess. That's retarded, Matt. If there was a real insurrection, you know what they would have done? They would have gone out of the Federal Reserve. They would have been like, hey, knock it off. You're fucking shit up. Just stop now. We might be able to help it. Dickheads. Yeah. You want to you want to do the stream app steps? Let's let's, let's start. Do it. Uh, let's do yeah. It. Anyway, um, if you have questions for us, streamapps.com slash Terror House Magazine. Get in quick because the show will be over soon. Oh, uh, also, if you have if you have questions for us, uh, you can also just put them in the regular chat and then uh then I'll ignore them. Yeah, yeah, that also works. Because it is um, part of the bit. Man, these were actually sent in three days ago. Um, and yeah, that's the thing with Streamlabs. You can actually send in a tip when we're not on air, and we'll read it when we are on air through the but power of through the power of magic. Or and also time. But anyway, uh Gabriel for one dollar says, Would you date someone if you knew to begin with that they were a trans woman but post everything? I'm just curious. I'm a gay man. The reason I ask is that I honestly would have an issue dating a trans man, but ultimately it depends on chemistry. Well, no, I wouldn't date a trans person. Same here. Got no problem with them. You want to live your life? Go right ahead. You know, maybe don't, maybe don't blare music into my apartment, but we're cool. But uh, I'm not interested in dating. I won't even be. I uh, yeah. If you're trans, I probably won't even be your friend. But you'd have to be pretty cool. Uh, because I mean, you just look weird. If I I will be friends with people that dress weird, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't. Um, especially if it was like uh, they don't have a vagina. You know, yeah, but, but hey. It in defense of trans people. You know, that's a great set of tits. Blair White. Huh? Good for him. She's got a she's got a good plastic that's a surgeon. Dude. That's a dude. All right. Like, let's stop using the language. That's a guy. Uh, but that dude's got a great set of tits. So good for him. But yeah, I wouldn't date a trans person, no. Anyway, thank you for that, Gabriel. Um, we have another tip. Oh, wait, wait, get it. Gabriel, that rules. We have another Gabriel. tip. Gabriel. That guy's funny. We have another tip, uh, Gabriel, for $1. Uh, oh, Matt, Matt and Bryden, would you date someone if you knew to begin with if you were a trans woman but post every... Oh, wait, it's the same tip. This guy sent in the same question twice. <laughs> well, you know what? This time, yes. This time I would. Since you asked twice, yes. I well, would. he did. Well, the main difference here is that he just specified in the in this tip that he's a cis gay man. <coughs> I don't know. Good for you, dude. Gay dudes, hell yeah, gay dudes. Good job, gay dudes. Hanging out with the dudes, just don't be a liberal. Go be one of those log cavern puppy. Hell yeah. But yeah, the trans shit's weird. Don't like it. Todd. And that's it for the tips. Thank you very much, Gabriel. Um, right. That's it for the show. Um, Brian, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, Gabriel's butt. Um, I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, normal streams, uh, uh, regularly scheduled programming this weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go to D Live and uh, I'll be there. I, that'll be fine. I'll be making jokes. Yeah, dlive.tv slash Bryden. And all yeah, the links are in the description. all kinds of jokes. My shit's uh, also in the description, mattforney.com. That'll do it for the show. Uh, terrorhousepress.com, terrorhousemag.com. Social wait, wait, this- wait, 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 Matt. What? How big are this trans bitch's tits? Which one? I don't know. The, probably the second one. What do you mean the second one? Well, I don't know. I mean, he sent it in for two times. Like, how, how big are these trans bitches tits? He hasn't specified. Well, send another dollar and specify how big her fucking tits are. Cool, cool. We'll get to it on the next show. Okay. All right. It's fine. But yeah, um, terrorhousepress.com, terrorhousemag.com, all episodes at terrorhouseradio.com, social media links in the description. Full Moon Reaction by Justin Jeffrey is out tomorrow. Go get it for 25, 20% off. Um, no wait, uh, yeah, twenty percent off. Um, anyway, get them for January sixth off. Sure, promo code insurrection. Uh, <laughs> Terrorhouse Radio is presented by Katya Dag, music to music by Zero Pulse, Illigent, my non cover run them, don't the bastard, grind down. I'm Matt Forney with Brian Proctor, and we are out.